Yes, good evening. Greetings uh, to everyone. Uh, my name is Mensa Wali, Artistic Director of Kente Arts Alliance. And today I'm honored to be in the presence of Mr. Roger Humphreys. We're going to talk about some history with his time with Horace Silver. So, uh, Roger, uh, I'm always curious as to how musicians get hooked up with certain people, you know. So, um, how did Horace know about you? Uh, wow. Uh, I heard the story that uh, when the band was splitting up, he was sitting maybe at Birdland with uh, Art Blakey Blake. and, mm -hmm. and uh, Maximum guy, and they were talking about, you know, drummers and everything. And because I knew Art Blakey and uh, uh, Max Floats, every time they come to town, I would sit in with them. Uh, they recommended me and they said, hey, man, you should call this young drummer in Pittsburgh, you know, Roger Humphreys, and give him a call. And that's how the connection happened. Okay. You know? <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, that, that makes sense because, uh, you, know, I, like, you know, I was wondering, maybe he came here with his group and, you know, you sat in with the group, <laughs> but you got the other way around. So, came from Buena and Max. Right. So, yeah, that was a beautiful thing. So, um, approximately what year was that? That was in uh, 1964. 1964. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, who was in the band when you uh, joined the band? Uh, it was in the band with Carmel Jones, uh, Joe Henderson, mm -hmm. and uh, Teddy Smith on bass. All right. All right. And what was the first recording that you all did? Uh, it was song for my father. Oh that really? That's first oh, album. Oh, yeah. all right. All first right. album with pretty eyes, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. You know. So, how long did you stay with Horace's band? I stayed with Horace Band uh, from '64 to like maybe like the end of '67. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, because I knew it had to be like the end of '67 because when I uh, left Horace, I joined Ray Charles back in the fall of 68, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, I was with Horace uh, almost all the way to 68. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful experience. It was, uh, it was school, uh, quite a school, you know? Uh, not only him taking me to make all these gigs, but taking me other places and, and showing me around the people and going to the Playboy Club with me. I mean, it's an experience I never would experience, <laughs> but he was just that nice of a person, man. He was just that kind of a guy. How old were you when you went with that band? Uh, I was 20 years old, mm -hmm. and and I, I worked with them until like for the three years, like 23. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Yeah, great experience, man. So when you say you know it was school, I mean you know what was he schooling you in? <laughs> well, the schooling was like uh, one of the things like when we did like song for my father. He had a friend uh, that uh, that. Uh, man, I can't call his name, that played all the Latin stuff, okay? And like he said, uh, I want to show you some of these different rhythms, Roger, and my friends are going to help you out to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, then after he showed me where the, the Bossa Nova is at, he said, I want you to play freely on your own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so like he gave me the foundation for me to create, you know, yeah. just not doing the Bossa mm -hmm. Nova, but doing mm -hmm. the rhythm. Mm -hmm. and, and that was uh, a nice thing about Horse. He gave me the freedom to not have anything written there, just start playing and use my imagination and, and figuring out where the song was going, you know. Mm -hmm. And like I, you know, like I said, man, it was a heck of an experience for me because I had the freedom, but at the same time I had the structure that I had to follow. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's good to have uh, a teacher that's not just guiding you, but allowing you to be. Oh wow! Very well put. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's what I try to do too. Yeah. Same time. Same you know? time. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's a, what a, a blessing. So um, in that time, uh, you traveled, I guess, across the country with our Yes, we had, out of the country. Yes, we went to France, did an Antilles Jazz Festival over there, and we went to uh, Spain and uh, Switzerland and mm -hmm. and. Uh, Oh man, we did a lot of traveling. You know, went to uh, Germany, mm -hmm. uh, places that I've never been. And that's so wild, you know, being a musician, 
place that you could never dream of going, the music take you there and people can treat you, man, so so nice because of your your art, you know, mm -hmm. your your craft, you know. And like uh I'm I'm thankful all the time, you know, and I try to leave it on to the other young musician. If you believe that you can do it, you can do it. It's just gonna take some work. But uh there's nothing like the the reward also, Menza. Like when you go on the bandstand to play this music, you know, it has nothing to do with the money. It's just the joy, you know, that that you get uh, sharing your life with with your audience. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're going to do. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's all you want to do.